Family Affair was an American sitcom that aired on CBS from September of 1966 to March of 1971. The series explored the trials of a well-to-do engineer and bachelor named Bill Davis, played by Brian Keith, as he attempted to raise his brother's orphaned children in his luxurious New York apartment. Davis's traditional English gentleman's gentleman was Mr. Giles French, played by Sebastian Cabot. He also had to make adjustments to become saddled with the responsibilities of caring for a 15-year-old sissy, played by Kathy Garver, and the two five-year-old twins, Jody, played by Johnny Whitaker, and Buffy, played by Anessa Jones. A Family Affair ran for 138 episodes and five seasons. It was produced by Don Fetterson. Uh, He's also the guy that produced My Three Sons. Also in the cast was Betty Lynn, who everybody remembers from The Andy Griffith Show as Thelma Lou. She was in four episodes, and she played uh, Bill's secretary. The show had quite a few notable guest stars. It had Jackie Coogan in it. It had Jamie Farr. He played a hippie. It had Clint Howard in it, who is Ron Howard's brother and also played Leon in the Andy Griffith show. June Lockhart was in it. Eve Plum was in it. She played a terminally ill girl. You'll remember her from the Brady Bunch. So was Robert Reed. He was in, he played a professor, and that was the dad from the Brady Bunch. That's just a few. There there are quite a few that, that uh, were actually in the show that I'm not naming that went on to, to fame in some other fashion. It's kind of funny that when the show aired in France, the butler's name was Mr. French, So they changed his name to Mr. Felix. And the kids also had their names changed to fit in with more conventional names for that area. Now, the little girl Buffy had a doll named Miss Beasley. And this was a popular doll during that time. It was marketed by Mattel. And um, a lot of young girls had this doll during the process of family affair being on the air. Now, in the first episode, Miss Beasley didn't have glasses on. After that, she had glasses on. Now, Sebastian Cabot was uh, played Mr. French, and he was uh, struggling with some illnesses during the time of all this filming. He actually missed nine episodes, and they really had to kind of work around some of his schedule because he he was uh, dealing with sickness. They they had a, a guy fill in for him whose name was Niles, and he was supposedly related to uh, Mr. French. And he, he was in there for nine episodes. Now, Brian Keith had a sweet deal uh, when it comes to filming uh, TV shows. Uh, this was kind of a practice by uh, Fetterson, who was the producer of it. Uh, Brian Keith worked 30-day blocks, and so he would come in and do all his filming during a 30-day schedule, and then the rest of the cast would come in and film around his shots that had already been done. And this allowed uh, famous stars like Brian Keith to attempt to do movies and and other contracts uh, that are in the film industry. Uh, Kathy Garver, that played Sissy, was actually 20 years old when she started the series. She does have a fairly young-looking face, but they did everything they could to try to uh, make her look a little younger. One thing I find that's quite interesting is after the series ended, Anessa Jones, that played Buffy, was actually one of the ones that was considered for the movie The Exorcist that was played by Linda Blair. But it eventually was ruled out because she was just too cute looking and they thought it would be really hard for people to make the progression from 
uh, her role on Family Affair to The Exorcist. During the filming of Family Affair, they did everything they could to hide little Anessa Jones' aging. Uh, they actually actually wrapped her chest. Uh, they did all sorts of modifications to her to make her stay young. Now, when she in real life broke her leg, they worked that into the script of the, a show. Now, here's where some of the sadness comes in from this show after the fact of, of the show being canceled. As Anessa Jones spent most of her acting career playing this little dainty girl, as she matured, her future seemed less promising by the minute. She didn't know how to handle growing up in the limelight, and she consequently started hanging around with the wrong crowd. At a very young age, she sought external illegal substances to make her feel better about herself, something she had trouble with ever since Family Affair ended. Subsequently, she ended up dropping out of high school and still hanging with this wrong crowd, she eventually died of a drug overdose at age 18. Now, sadly, the bad times didn't just end with Anessa Jones. In fact, they were just beginning for Johnny Whitaker, much like his on-screen sister, Joan. He began taking illegal substances as he grew older. He eventually became hooked on drugs and his life began to spiral out of control. He felt helpless and could not find a way out of the dark abyss that became his life. And soon the addiction would ruin both his professional acting career as well as his finances. Now he eventually cleaned his act up and actually decided to take his experience and become a counselor at the Tarzana Treatment Center in California. Brian Keith, who played the uncle, was a guy that was always in control. He uh, had the best schedule that any actor could want. And after the show ended, he went on to do other things. But pretty soon, his body started betraying him. The formerly all-smiles stand-up guy turned into a shadow of a man. He suffered from emphysema and was diagnosed with lung cancer, which was actually a devastating blow considering that he had quit smoking 10 years earlier. Now, he was a heavy smoker when he was younger. On June 24th, 1997, he was found dead in his Malibu, California home. He died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Many have speculated the reason for his suicide and claimed that it had to do with two months prior to his death, his daughter Daisy took her own life. And he also had financial problems. He had suffered with depression through the final days. Some argued that since he knew that he was reaching the end of his life, that he decided to take things into his own hands. He was a guy that always liked to be in control of the situation. He actually left a note to try to comfort the people he left behind. And the note stated, It's now time for me to join our little Daisy. She needs me. She didn't want to be without me here, so she'll have me again over there. Now, Kathy Garver from the cast, that she played Sissy, uh, she's had a, a fairly normal life, I believe. Uh, uh, she has uh, maybe not been in the spotlight as she was at that time, but her life has been fairly normal, except for the fact of dealing with the deaths of her cast member friends. Now, Sebastian Cabot, who played Mr. French, died very young. He died at 59 in August of 1977. Uh, he had been in ill health up until the point and had a fatal stroke. There was an actual revival of the Family Affair show that aired from September of 2002 to March of 2003. The renewed version only lasted 16 episodes, out of which only 14 were aired. The one-hour pilot had really pretty good ratings, but the following episodes had to deal with competing with the show Survivor, 
friends, and a few other. Now, original cast members, Johnny Whitaker and, and Kathy Garver, actually appeared in the Christmas special. Most of the episodes in the fifth season opened with Sebastian Cabot or the twins saying, Good evening. So nice of you to join us. And they closed the episode by saying, It's been very good of you to watch, and we do hope to see you again next week on Family Affair. What a great 60s sitcom this was. I completely flash back to my childhood when I see pictures of, of these characters or hear the theme music from it. I hope you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane and thank you so much for watching.